What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of MAV where we do everything outdoors, hunting, fishing, camping. Today, I'm doing something very exciting and something that I've had in my mind for a long, long time. And that is to uh, get my truck set up for a camper setup. So now, I've got a truck. It's uh, looking pretty bare back here. Yeah, really not a whole lot of anything back there right now. I uh, just purchased this truck about two weeks ago and I've had some big plans to get some camping gear in there and be able to camp out of the back of my truck. Just be, be nomadic, you know? So everything I'm gonna be doing today is going to be done on this card right here. That's a $100 Cabela's gift card. You often see a lot of videos on YouTube right now of people building crazy builds in the back of their truck. I just wanna make something relatable for people that you know just wanna go camping on the weekends that don't wanna spend a lot of time building. So I'm gonna buy everything to be able to camp out of the back of a truck today for under $100. Um, you can do this for super cheap, do it budget, and that's the way I'm gonna do it, that's the way I wanna do it. I'm gonna show you guys the stuff that I'm gonna buy in order to be able to sleep out of the back of my truck and maybe you guys can do it too. Let's, uh, let's get over to Cabela's, let's get buying on some stuff and we'll catch you at the store. All right, guys, so we're just chilling at Cabela's, and I uh, <laughs> got to meet some two new fans. What's your guys' names? Hunter. My Hunter? Nice to meet you, dude. My name's Andrew. Andrew? Nice to meet you, man. Where are you guys from? Uh, uh, we're, I'm from Lionel Lakes. I'm Lionel? from Circle Pines. Nice, yeah, nice. we went to you when you were at the, what is it called? The Thorn Muskie? Brothers? Yeah, oh, yeah, we were there. Yeah, you were at Thorn Brothers? Yeah, yeah you signed my guys. shirt. Heck yeah. Yeah, it was nice. Yeah, dude. Sweet. But well, these guys, uh, these guys are at Cabela's. We're, we're probably doing the same thing today. You guys going fishing soon or what? Uh, we're trying to. Yeah. We're trying to get some baits for the it's, open it's season. It's pretty brutal right now. It is very brutal. Yeah. Well, got to take the elevator to the second floor and uh, check out the camping stuff. I think that's where they're going to have the cots and everything that I need. So those guys were super cool. It's always fun meeting fans out in, out in public. My whole, my whole premise of the video today is I'm trying to keep it on my $100 gift card. Okay. All right, well, with, uh, with Lucas, shout out to Lucas from Cabela's. Uh, he helped me find some great cots up here. Um, I, found, I found the cots. So we got a bunch of different options. We got $50 one, looks a little cheap. Got a $60 one. I don't know, they get super expensive real fast. There's a $160 one all the way down there. And then down here you have a bunk that is $350. I don't, I don't think I got room for a bunk in my truck, but I think we're gonna go for something in the middle. Don't wanna cheap out. So I think I'm gonna go with uh, the $60 one right here. Lucas says it's comfortable, so I'm gonna trust his judgment. Well, I did go a little over budget, but I got everything that I need. I'll get back to the house and show you guys uh, just what I'm talking about. Well, I'm back from the store. Got all the stuff for a truck camper. It's a little icy out here, so we're gonna meander on into the garage and get stuff assembled, get the truck looking spick and span. And I'm about to go through everything that I just picked up at Cabela's uh, in order for you guys to get yourself a, a camping truck. So let's get after it. <laughs> Welcome to my garage. I got all my stuff here. Um, all right, so first things first, a little self-explanatory. Got ourselves the uh, Cabela's cot. It's a camp cot. I am a little worried about this thing. As you can see in the picture, it's got three different legs. Um, I'm worried about how it's gonna fit on the wheel well, but we'll make it work. 
here I have a 750 power inverter. Very important for if you're planning on charging things, which I definitely am inside my inside my little camp shell. Bungee cords, uh, I got a random assortment of them just for securing things down, random bins, whatnot. Um, that was $10. And then two one pound propane tanks, which I think were, you know, I think $3 a piece or something like that. 130 bucks got me all this stuff combined with some of the stuff I already have will be enough to get me a nice little truck camping setup going. So I'm gonna open this up, get it all situated, and I'll show you guys just what, just what I had in mind. Fits like a glove. Like a tight fitting glove, but it, it fits like a glove. Thank God. Um, it does sit on the wheel well. I am noticing one problem off the bat, and that's this. And it is a little slidey. So we are gonna have to figure out a solution to that. So I'm gonna get everything else in here and then I'll just show you guys what I came up with. Well, there she is. Um, I guess I owe you guys a bit of an explanation of what's been going on. Been working pretty hard for the last couple hours and uh, just getting everything organized and getting it put in here. So what I got right here, Obviously is that Cabela's cot, 60 bucks, super nice. Um, my sleeping pad I put on there earlier and I laid on it and it it has some holes in it. So I'm trying to patch it up right now with some glue. But I got uh, my old trusty sleeping bag and then my lucky Mexican blanket right here to keep me warm. Um, on top of that, I also have a Big Buddy propane heater. Each one of those sides right there holds a one pound propane tank, which is super awesome. So I don't need to bring a big 20 pound propane tank in with me. And uh, that's going to be plenty to keep me warm. Still do need to get a carbon monoxide detector. So I'm going to get that at the hardware store pretty soon here. But that, uh, that ought to do it for winter camping. Um, and then in case I get stuck or I need to dig myself out of a sticky situation, I got the shovel here uh, mounted with a little, little bungee cord there. So moving our way back into the truck. So as you guys can tell, the ceiling is a little low in here. Um, it's just a normal topper. It sits flush with the top of my roof, so it's not actually a camping topper, which is fine. Um, I'm not planning on sitting in here and doing a bunch of work, but I did manage to get this in here. This is uh, my old college nightstand. This is actually what I went into my trailer earlier to get. There was so much snow on my trailer earlier that I couldn't I couldn't lift it up. It was it was just soaking wet, like a foot of soaking wet snow, and it must have made the trailer weigh like an extra 300 pounds on top of it. It was absolutely insane. So what I did is I shoveled it off quick, opened up the trailer, and I got my trusty old nightstand. So this thing's a little tall for in here. I had hopes to put a lamp, you know, had hopes to put a lamp right up there. Not gonna work with the ceiling height and the height of this thing, but it does mean that I'll have a lot of, a lot of room for storage. Right now I've used two of my bungee cords, or actually I used three of my bungee cords to secure um, the drawers so when I'm driving that they're not gonna fly open. But that being said, I can quickly, you know, move this and slide some stuff in there. Uh, there's really nothing in there right now, just some extra lights and batteries. So in the corner over there, I have the lamp that I was attempting to put up here and uh, the battery inverter. Right now I don't have a battery, so it doesn't really make sense to use the inverter. I'm just gonna chill there until I get my deep cycle battery. But until then, right under here I got these nice storage bins and holding it is my power source until I get my deep cell battery. So this is, so this is pretty cool. This is something I use for ice fishing. It's a Dakota lithium battery. It's a lithium ion 12 volt battery and it has plenty of hookups on here. So I'm gonna use this to be charging my phone. It has a couple USB ports and then it has a DC adapter. It also has two terminals right there so I can connect any lighting or wiring if I want to. And it also, oh, has a handy dandy flashlight. So this thing's pretty cool. It's super lightweight, super small and uh, supply some good power. So that's gonna be a cool thing to have in here. Got two of these little storage bins. Um, not much is in them again right now, but got my extra propane and then a filtration water bottle. It's kind of like a life straw water bottle. And then right here I got a little welcome mat. This is just so I can keep my feet off of the, off of the truck bed liner. So the bed liner is Obviously gonna get kind of wet, hold moisture, whatever. Um, so when I step out in my socks here, 
I won't, I won't get wet. Not ideal, but hopefully I'll get a carpet here soon or a rug or something, but it'll do for now. One really cool thing that I almost forgot to touch on is this is also in the back of my truck. So what is this, might, might you ask? This is actually a portable battery pack also, lithium ion. People usually use these to like charge their phones and stuff, but this thing's actually so big that it can jumpstart my car. So if I'm ever in like, you know, a little bit of a pinch and my battery dies somehow, I have this guy to back me up. So that's gonna stay right in there as well with my, with my Dakota lithium. And yeah, oh, almost this thing right here. You guys are probably wondering what that is. The cargo netting. So cargo netting is super awesome. So this sits flush with my roof, but it allows me to like, you know, if I take off a sweatshirt or I take off layers, I can just toss them up here and they don't take up much room. So this is super awesome. I'm excited about the cargo netting. And then I have these handy lights here. So my uh, topper isn't wired right now for lighting because I was gonna get it repainted to match my truck, but I honestly don't really mind the gray and I don't know if I'm gonna get it repainted. So I'm just kind of left with a topper that's not wired up. Anyway. I found these lights in my room. They have uh, magnetic strips on them. They have like, a little clip on the back right here. And they're really bright. They're really bright LEDs. So I'm gonna use that for lighting for now. Um, super handy. I can move them wherever I would like. So I guess all that's left to do is get a carbon monoxide detector and you know sit in this thing and see how, see how it holds up. Let's, uh, let's get over to the hardware store. Let's go grab a carbon monoxide detector. Maybe something to cover up these windows. See, uh, see what, see what it's like to stay in this thing. I don't know if I'm gonna stay in it tonight, but I definitely do want to get the heater going in here and just see how comfortable it is. So, let's go to the hardware store. Let's pick up some stuff. Every time, even if you have a carbon monoxide detector or not, I think I'm gonna sleep in here with a window open. It's definitely advised to sleep with a window open, so. There we go. Let the cold in. All right, I'm gonna open up this one right here too, just to get the oxygen, oxygen flow going. Dude, this heater is no joke. Can take like any time at all. And it's already just toasty in here. It's probably about 35 degrees outside. I'm guessing it's gotta be at least 50 in here now, but I'd have no problem sleeping in here right now. Here, I'm gonna de-layer a little bit. Voila, cargo net, cool, nice. It has a purpose, see? Um. This episode is brought to you by the sock beverage. Uh, you guys aren't going to know what it is, but it's definitely going to be tasty. A little celebratory for uh, getting all this done today. Super, super happy with how it came out. This cot is surprisingly comfortable even without the sleeping pad. Mm. Nothing like dirty sock in the mouth when you're drinking a nice cold one. One thing I'm already noticing is that the windows are kind of getting some condensation on them. I don't know if that's going to affect how cold or warm it is in here. I'm sure condensation isn't great for when it's cold out. I'd have to imagine that it would make me more cold on my, on my camping trips. So I'm going to have to figure that out. Luckily my topper is carpet lined, so anything that I want to attach, I can just add Velcro to it. I'm going to end up doing that with these lights, these little lights that I have laying around. I'm just going to put Velcro on them. And uh, that, that way they'll stick and I can kind of arrange them wherever I want. I thought the magnets would be awesome, but there's really nothing that's in here that's magnetic enough to, to stick to, unfortunately. With the truck bed liner and all that's really that's magnetic is these little screws right here. Because this is all plastic. I thought it was metal, but it's all plastic. Or no, it's aluminum. Aluminum's not magnetic, so... Oh. 
It's definitely a little colder on this level. This area is definitely colder. Maybe because the win maybe because the windows are at this level. Heat raises. Heat rises. Heat raises. Heat rises. That's probably why. Yeah, definitely would like some privacy in here though. Like if I'm out, like doing urban camping or whatever. Like if I'm in a Walmart parking Walmart parking lot and I don't want lights in or people looking in here. I feel like I'm pretty vulnerable right now. Like I can see, I can see straight through my car right now. There's a bunch of weirdos out there. I don't know. Well, well, I honestly just spilled most of that, but if you guys didn't believe me about spilling it, yeah, it's, it's definitely spilled. Again, I can't believe that this is finally here. I'm so happy to have finally done it. It's been something that's been in my mind for a long time, and, uh, wow, this light's kind of harsh, hey? Is that better? It's been something that's been on my mind for a long time, and it's really cool to finally put it to, uh, put it to work, so I'm going to leave this thing set up in here for a while, now that ice fishing's kind of done. I don't have to worry about towing around a lot of gear back here. Just like... Okay. Leave me alone. I'm not going to have to worry about towing gear and stuff, so... Super excited for what the future has to bring. Let the adventure begin, as Sobe would say. <laughs> Let me know in the comment section below what you guys would like to see out of this truck. Where would you like, where would you like to see me camp? What would you like to see me catch? Um, I've got some ideas, but hearing your guys' input is always helpful. So thank you guys so much for tuning in this episode of MAV. If you'd be so kind to like, comment, and subscribe, that'd be... Amazing. Thank you so much. Until next time, tight lines.